Here's a comedy centric moment. I had a friend of a friend who said, you know, give me a resume. I know somebody at Sirius Radio and who knows, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. And then lo and behold, they called me and I showed up and they were like, hey, yeah, if you're interested, we'd love to get you on board and, and train you. I had never been in a radio station wow. before in my life. I was like, it was like the devil wears Prada in real life. I was just like, holy, oh, I don't know. What it. Say it. Holy it. shit. Like I cannot <laughs> believe me. I'm doing this. So I left everything. I left my, my, uh, my job. I left my husband. I left my, uh, townhouse and I packed up my little Maltese and I moved into my grandmother's house in Brooklyn it, her and her 85 year old boyfriend named Ted who couldn't stand me because you know I just <laughs> messed up his whole life and then I interned at Sirius as a 28 year old college graduate thank god I have supportive parents and a grandmother that really you know believed in me Not and I Ted, interned though. there for about six or seven months and I showed up every day for free I worked like as many hours as they would let me stay in the building I learned every single thing about running the board and you know what it takes to be a producer and and call screening and, and you know there's a certain you know magic that goes to all of it and 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 introducing myself to everybody possible in the building and before I knew it, and then they hired me part time, and I said, "This is amazing!" And here I am, like a twenty-nine-year-old, part-time work in New York City. I was the skinniest I've ever been. Let me tell you, I could not. I mean, I, all I was eating was like pretzel rods from the kitchen at Sirius XM, <laughs> and then eventually became full-time. But in that time period. There was a lot of opportunity there to fill in for shows, and the producer of the Jay Thomas show was going to a fish concert, and he said, Christine, I really need you to run this board for me. And I was like, yes, I'm in. And Jay and I hit it off immediately. Uh, he made me cry a thousand times, 100%. I will, he, was, he was the hardest on me of anybody that I've ever worked with in my life, but it was always for the good of the radio. You know, he always had his best intentions, even if I didn't see it at the time. And my very first time on air, I sounded like I came from Brooklyn. You know, I was just this girl from, hey, you know, and he was like, whoa, stop the whole show. He was like, hold on a second. You sound like a fucking idiot. What are you <laughs> saying? And I was like, I, I mean, like I almost died. I was like, <gasps> you know, and I held back tears and uh, grew the thickest skin possible. And Nine years later, I think we were together on the show. Like well, seven years later, I think. Wow. We, you know, we were like um, cookies and cream. I don't know. Mm -hmm.